that race that Sharon talked about was run against five of the greatest high school distance cross country runners in America. He must have really heard them upstairs because Eric won by 25 seconds. That was unheard of. He then followed that race and won the world championship by over 100 meters. The next month, he was on the cover of Runner's World magazine. He was a Laguna Beach High School student who accidentally, because of Glenn Richardson, ran track. Another great story was we were going to Knoxville, Tennessee to run in the Junior Nationals. And we got in the cab to drive over to the race. And these two young kids in running sweatsuits from Hammond High School, Indiana, came running over to the taxi. They knocked on the window. Eric rolled it down. And if you want to know it, Eric had a shock of red hair. And Rudy Chapa, who was one of the all-time great distance runners, who was going to compete against Eric in about an hour and 30 minutes, said, are you Eric Cole? And Eric looked at me like, what's going on? And I said, yeah, this is Eric Cole. Rudy Chapa said, Eric, you're my idol. <laughs> that night, they went out and broke the world record and national high school record for six miles and 10,000 meters. Eric won at six miles, and Rudy out kicked him on the best trip to win at 10,000, and it was truly an amazing feat. And Eric sat in that class and said, is he really serious? And I said to Eric, you just don't know how many people you have inspired. And you know what? Today, if you look on the Iron County Hall of Fame two-mile list, most of them are right here today. They're probably seven of the ten fastest times ever run in what we call the golden era of running in the 70s. And one reason it was the golden era is because Eric Holt set a standard that everybody else had to compete with and they changed their training styles to compete with this young red-headed kid <laughs> going to be high school. It, for me, as a track coach, I was a shot put distance sprint jump coach. I inherited probably one of the all-time greatest distance runners besides Steve Prefontaine, Alberto Salazar, and Jerry Lindgren. You have to put Eric Holt's name as one of the all-time great distance runners, and I would put him on a hilly cross country course against anybody in the world. <laughs> I will tell you, if Eric was here today, he would be very humble, but he would also be very excited to see a Tartan track that was in the high school, because he and I shared the same dream. Folks, just think how fast we could run at this city with this kind of climate on a Tartan all river track. And I said, Eric, Tom Hunt's in town this weekend, and 27 years ago, Tom Hunt ran 406, 846 on this track, which were the two fastest times in high school, run that year. Eric finished fourth in the mile and second in the two mile. He wasn't always the winner, but when Eric Holt ran in a big race, and you can ask Ralph, Ryan, or any of the guys, the kid never lost. He was unbelievable and he was the nicest person I have ever been associated with.